So what it means is that you should have just say, hey, partner A, the, the purpose of the exercise is for you to open your hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>
One of the reasons why women that we make less money in the workplace, you know, the women tend to make less money than men in the workplace. And sometimes you say, oh, it's because of the glass ceiling, it's because uh, women uh, are not prepared. No. One of the reasons is because we are afraid of asking for more. Studies show that men negotiate their salary eight times more than us. When we go for a job interview, whatever is offered to us, we just accept it. Men tend to negotiate that. They're not afraid of asking for more. The reason why women are less happy than men in relationships, because the same thing, it's a proven fact. Studies show that, that men tend to be happier in relationships. is because we're afraid of asking for more. And the reason why women suffer from lower self-esteem is because we are afraid of asking for more of ourselves. We have to elevate our expectations. Don't be afraid of expecting more, of demanding more. Um, one, of, of one of the most interesting experiments that was conducted in this area of negotiation that grew that there's a huge correlation between what people expect and what people get was conducted at Harvard University by Professor Foraker. And what this gentleman did was, in a big room like this one, Professor Foraker put a, um, a partition in the middle of the room, okay? And then he made a little hole in the wall, in that wall, and he put a table here and a table here. And then he put two people to negotiate, right? So let's say that these two ladies that are here, can you stand up for me for a second, please? Then, yeah, yeah. Are you? Okay, beautiful. And your name again, please. Lula. Lula Holmes. I said it right. Yes. Lula Holmes. And your name? Angela. Lula and Angela. There's a partition. Look at each other there. There's a partition in the middle of them. And there's a table here, a table here. They're sitting down. They can really look at each other because there's a, just a little hole on the wall. And uh, they're going to negotiate. And Professor Foraker came up to you and said, listen, you're going to negotiate a $10 bill. Let's see how much each one of you ended up, end up with. Um, now, what he did was that he came to this side of the room. And this was part of the experiment. And he says, Lula. Don't tell anyone, but in this negotiation, the people who negotiate in this side of the room always end up with $2.50. But you don't know why, you don't say anything to anyone. Then he came to this side of the room and he said to you, we don't know why, but the people who negotiate in this side of the room always end up with $7.50. <laughs> don't say anything. Now, uh, they started negotiating, making like demands and offers, we write it in a little piece of paper. After the end of the negotiation, we, they, did it with, they did this experiment with hundreds and hundreds of people. Guess how much the people in this side of the room ended up with after the experiment. Yes. And guess how much the people in this side of the room ended up with? Seven dollars and So it was a proven fact that people who expected less got less and people more, got more. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. so, it was a $5 deal. They should have said, it's $5, let's leave it, you get five, I get five. But because in their mind, they were expecting to get less, and other people were expecting to get more, that's how it happened. So if in life you're going to get according to what you expect, then there's a baby step in logic that you just have to elevate your expectations. Expect more, demand more, and it's a proven fact that you will get more. You should apply this rule of expect more, demand more, and you will get more to every area of your life. Not just in business, when you're buying, when you're selling. Apply it in your personal life. Apply it with your partner at home. How many women here complain because their partner doesn't help her with the housework? Everyone. <laughs> I hope she's not raising her hand. I hope she's not raising her hand. I'll wash the dishes tonight. <laughs>